Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is City Skylines. Now, here's a concept for you. Uh, as you can see, the horizon of my city is is littered with, uh, with problems galore. Uh, I'm not too fussed about that, but I'm going to pause the game right here, largely because it helps me shut the sirens up. Now, here's the thing. A couple of episodes ago, we discussed what could possibly be causing the plague. Uh, that uh, that turns up on a regular basis and uh, and wipes out an awful lot of uh, awful lot of the population before everything starts to refill, uh, and it seems to be that you know people get sick and uh, and that just don't find their ways to a hospital. Now here is my theory. If we look along, where should we go as far as? Let's go as far as this bit around about here, right? We're going to zoom straight in. This is an ambulance, right? That's an ambulance. So's that, and this, and that one, and this one, and this one over here, and so's that, and this, and another one. And look, here's one more. Ooh, here's another, and here's another one, and another. Now, unless there has been some kind of major catastrophe up where they're heading, which, uh, from the looks of it, they're probably heading across this bridge here. Maybe they're heading all the way around the, the top side there. I don't know. But the fundamental is still the same. They shouldn't need to be doing that. I've got healthcare services spread throughout the city, you know. Over here's got plenty of stuff going on, over here's got a couple of bits of healthcare going on. But what happens if those ambulances are busy? Well, then I imagine the city calls out, where's next? Where's the next closest place they could come from? At which point it starts to hit over here. Uh, and so it sends the call. Ambulances get dispatched, they get stuck in traffic, uh, yeah, yeah, see where I'm going? They get stuck in traffic, and so it kind of goes like, nope, still not got anything, let's call for some more. And before you know it, every ambulance in the city is being called to a disaster over here, or a one person getting sick. Probably, you know, probably someone who used to reside in this house here. Uh, they all get flagged to head over there, and they're not in their own catchment area. At which point, people who are sick in that area can't get any coverage because all their ambulances are off over the other side of the city. That's my theory. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, I have absolutely no data to back it up, but it certainly stands to reason. Uh, I mean, you know, that swift count up we did just now was what, a dozen ambulances? Um, so in this episode, that's what we're going to look at. We're going to look at uh, whether it is uh, ambulances being pulled from far and wide that are causing the problem. Right, let's click on you. Owner is a medical clinic, which is all the way over here. Alright, so that one's going home. Alright, uh, okay. I mean, surely that's out of its catchment area. What about you? Hospital. This one has come from all the way down here. It's now here. It lives down here. Responding to a call at the Bedford residence is over here. So there you go. It's going to a call on the other side of the city. And so I suspect very strongly, in fact, I think this, this bears it out, that... Uh, now see, is anybody else going to the Bedford residence? Uh, you're going to the Oak residence. Home of the Stuff Store. Hickory. Home of the Stuff Store. Hickory. Commercial Centre, Robin, Coleridge, uh, okay, well, maybe that's not it, maybe that it hasn't yet called for uh, for multiple, uh, multiple units to be dispatched, but I think we might be onto something here. I think when their local teams aren't available, right, where are you going? You are from here, right, and you're transporting a patient for treatment. All the way down there. Actually, that's probably the, the most reasonable trip we've looked at so far. So there we go. That's what I think it is. As I think what's what is causing the problem is uh, is that time spent queuing in traffic. Let's on pause here. Uh, is actually causing ambulances to be pulled from further and further afield. That's my suspicion. So uh, I'm going to work on trying to free up some queues. Now, I mean, this is a, an ongoing thing, to be honest. It's the part of the game that I enjoy the most. You knew that already. Um, right, let's uh, let's start by adding a uh, a cheat road here. 
There you go. Have some of that. See see if that helps matters. Uh, I'm, I'm all about adding cheat roads at the moment. Anybody I can keep off the roundabout is going to help that roundabout flow, which is all, it's almost a nonsense to say that because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm basically withdrawing the need for a roundabout to even exist. There we go. Let's cheat that one as well. Now, all being well, I shouldn't need traffic lights on here, should I? But you know what? It's not going to do any... I don't think it's going to do us any harm. Because if I can keep my ambulances moving, then, I mean, the, the knock-on effect is going to go both ways, right? So uh, so when one side of the city can't get coverage, the other side of the city is going to, you know, summon them up, and vice versa. What's going on here? Why are you people never moving? This, this bin, bin van just got no no interest in going anywhere. It's heading to an incinerator plant. Oh, how, how terribly bold of you. All right. Clearly, the priorities here are broken. No, they're not broken. They're just non-existent. There we go. Let's kill that. And this is why, whenever I, you know, whenever we look at a, a queue of traffic, all we end up seeing is uh, is ambulances in queues, and the same for bin vans as well. So uh, garbage trucks, they all end up constantly. Uh, now we're going to get rid of this ability to turn right here. I think. Not that anybody should use it, but yeah, I mean, it, it, basically, the, my service vehicles are all getting uh, are all getting trapped with uh, with interesting place to have to hopper uh, with no hope of reprieve. At which point, it dispatches more, and uh, and the problems go unresolved. I don't know. Maybe there's maybe there's some some merit to this thinking. Maybe there isn't. Let's change the. Oh no, everybody's going to turn left. Yeah, slightly slightly weird piece of traffic planning there. Anyway, I mean, look, everywhere you go, every, every time you find a queue, you find ambulances in that queue and garbage trucks. Now, that could be because this is a city with a hell of a lot of ambulances and almost as many garbage trucks. But, uh, in fact, I think garbage trucks are our rule of the roost with that regard. Right, we're going to take you on a magical mystery tour under here. Actually, I'm going to give you two options at the moment. But uh, first off, let's send one lot over here. If we're very lucky, there we go. It's got got something of an aggressive turn in the middle, and then we'll send another one under here. I love how how small these little slip roads are. I need a slightly more flexible road, to be honest. This is this is turning into quite the ugly beast. Uh, there we go. And no, you may not turn right. That will just cause a major snarl up. Uh, where are we? And we don't need traffic lights there. Switch traffic lights. Uh, may have been better change lanes. Nope, not that one. This one. This one. This. That's the one. Thank you. I don't, I, to be honest, if you've not seen my uh, my kind of walkthrough of the traffic management mod, see the traffic manager button? Uh, if I remember, I'll put some kind of pop-up on the screen so you can go and have a look at it. But... Uh, I can't live without it. It is the most important add-on to the game, without exception. Traffic managers, switch traffic lights. There we go. Let's just add some priority signs on here. They're already existing. That's all good. Now, when this eases, we might be we might be fortunate enough to see a few people zip up this uh, this additional route I have supplied them. Are you traffic lit there? I think you probably are. I don't think that's doing us any harm. And and the I mean the other thing is that you know if I don't have to spend any more time listening to that wailing flaming siren uh, going on forever, uh, that will suit me just fine. Now where are you people going that is leading you to clog up my roundabout? So we could probably do an over-the-top route here. To be honest, in doing this, I'm, I'm almost making this roundabout redundant. But uh, I will see. As, if, if some people are still using it, I, I, the, the route coming in from the left as we look at it now 
is actually probably going to be the, the only one to really benefit from it. But there we go. Let's uh, let's plumb that on there and see if anybody has got the uh, got the good sense to use that instead of going round the round the roundabout. It might be that they don't bother. They might go, well, actually, this roundabout's got plenty of capacity. I'll just use that, even though it's blocking everybody else in. The other thing that might help here, actually, that queue's building up a little. Come on, prove prove that someone has got the sense to go up and over. Anyone, anyone at all up and over. You can see this underside route is, has already picked up a bit of traffic. That's helpful. As mentioned just moments ago, anybody I can keep off the roundabout is going to help it flow. No one wants to use this one, huh? Maybe if I started this before... Yeah, I think people would take it if I started it before the roundabout. So let's kill that and start back here. Now, I appreciate this game isn't solely about, uh, about dealing with traffic, but uh, as I say increasingly frequently these days, it is the bit that I'm digging the most. Go on, link up. Go on, you know you want to. Go on, it's like a it's, it's like a ski lift or something. Oh, whoa, pff, straight on. Look, they love it. They're going, oh yeah, give me some of that. Hells yes. Wow, no mess in there, huh? Right, okay, so that should reduce the amount of people that are taking the the long route around here. We'll still have some. Obviously, this cube still needs to clear. But if we're good, and we occasionally are, that that will have a, a bit more of an... Actually, we've almost cleared this queue. Awesome. Now, uh, what we haven't done yet is... Uh, hello. Why are you unhappy? All right, where are you people trying to get to? Or is it simply that you're being blocked? I think it's I think it's purely purely being blocked. Let's uh, let's change up the traffic lights here and uh, and stick some priority signs on it. So I think we can give priority to uh, these two routes and then stick a yield on that one. Yeah, they're just not getting a they're just not getting a chance to go, are they? Okay, right. Well, the easiest way to fix that would be to add a route that uh, that takes this lot round over there. Hell, if I'm in, you know, if we do, if if it can be done, let's see what we can do. To be honest, I'm I'm sceptical at best. Uh, let's right, and then up. This is madness. I mean, basically, I need to I need to come up with something that does this. You know, a, a, a pre-built. <laughs> okay, we could go up again. Oh, look at it! It's gonna be amazing. Oh yeah. Now you're talking. Shut up ambulances, I am fixing you. Be silent. Increase your calm. Increase your calm? Increase your peace? John Spartan? Ah, I can't remember. Right, okay, good, got a good kink in the end there as well. Right, so. Let's see how many enterprising people want to give that a go. There goes one now. And as ever, everyone who stays off the roundabout stays out of my problems for a bit. Okay, so that's both left and right sorted. So the only people that are going to stay on that road are going straight. Look, see, three ambulances and a cop car in that in that little section alone. Now I've given them the ability to go to, to, to take this first left. 
So I suspect there's, you know, again, there's demand to go straight over now. I could probably hook this up onto that slip road there. But also, you know, a lot of this is legacy. So I've got this one. This is now flowing like a charm. Uh, it is making a big blockage there. So maybe if I... Uh, let's traffic light it. Let's, let's actually give them a, a mandatory opportunity to leave. And so, yeah, that's going to cause a tail back here. But that might not be so bad. It wasn't too long. And it's, it, it is, and they are blocking around about in doing so. But to be honest, I've, I've gone that mad with concrete that, uh, that most other people have got an opportunity to leave there. Okay, let's, uh, let's go hunting for our, uh, our next challenge. This, I think we've, no, no, I, I think we've screwed this one. Oh, flaming heck. All right, where are they trying to get to? Straight over. I mean, it would help if they used all three lanes, but as as established many, many times, this game is full of idiot drivers. They're all using the left lane at the moment. Where's that garbage truck going? He's going straight. Okay, uh, next target. Let's pick this hot dog van here. He's gone left. All right, okay. Let's put in another lane. Maybe if we strip out the, the, the left lane, that will be that will be the only thing that we actually need. Can we get a hook on there? There we can go, we can get a hook on there, look. Okay, good filtering. Good filtering. All right, now, there is going to be a queue forming down here somewhere. I'm going to go look at that in a sec. That's now moving. Where's it queuing back to at the moment? All right, so the challenge is, can we bring this queue any further forward? Go on, go on, show me we can bring the queue forward. Go on, that's it, that's it. Yes, right, the queue's moving forward. So, it's going to take a little while to thin out completely. Obviously, we've, we've got all this stuff trying to come on via this ear junction. Uh, the ear junction, which would work much better if it wasn't for everybody insisting on driving in one lane. Thanks for that, guys. Really helpful. Why do I bother building you highways? I mean, seriously, it's just not worth my time. I put, you know, passion and soul into the roads that I build for you people, and and yet, and yet, you just don't give a damn. You want to drive in one lane and then you get some tit in a garbage truck who insists on blocking everything permanently. Look, you can carry on here. Oh, it's just so stupid. Anyway, that appears to be flowing now. We've got a bit of a queue on the roundabout itself, which is not what that actually... This looks like the priorities are all balked. What do we got here? Yes, we do have balked priorities. These guys should have right of way. Uh, these guys should be queuing. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Give them some flaming traffic lights. That will also help. This is good. Right, and while we're at it, I'm going to change the lanes here. Uh, no more. You, you can only go in the left lane if you're leaving. Get your heads around that. All right. Okay. So we've got, you know, we've got movement. It's it's happening. Right. Okay. Further up. What do we got? Next roundabout. Yeah, it's not brilliant. I, I, I actually, while you weren't watching, um, this is our container port. Now, this was causing, uh, well, uh, train container station, doodah. Uh, this was causing the problems earlier on. And uh, and so I built this uh, this kind of one-way system. So it comes down here currently. Obviously, there's, a, there's an ambulance stuck in there somewhere. Uh, built this coming down here so that the trucks can go in, trucks can come out. Uh, 
in the hope that it uh, it sped things up. And as you can see, the majority of guys that are coming off from the roundabout do actually want to go to this uh, to this train depot. This is a good thing. Uh, I didn't make this as a as a thoroughfare for other users in the slightest. And so I've one wade up quite a lot of this area to try and keep the the traffic thinned. And so far it broadly seems to be working. I mean, there's a queue forming now, but that's because a train's unloading. And then they get onto this roundabout, and they get onto here. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do some... Uh, ooh, what should we do here? Let's go for... Let's kill the traffic lights, because that's, that's part of the solution in the long term. Uh, and then change the lanes... So let's change these lanes. You are not allowed to turn right. Yeah. That'll give you something to think about. Right. And then here, you are also not allowed to turn right. But you are allowed to turn left. Okay. All right. Okay. Happy with that? Uh, lane 1 can't go straight because there is no straight for lane 1 to go. Uh... Do we want people turning left here? Not really. But that might be... Yeah, see, that's... That's not ideal. Okay, right, I'm going to leave that to, to run for a bit and we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to keep going on this. Uh, rather than you just watching me, uh, you know, constantly, uh, you know, doing something similar, I'm going to mutate a whole bunch of... Uh, a whole bunch of my, my junctions and see if we can't get things under control. Because... As was wisely and astutely observed uh, by Copernicus in a, a previous episode, I shouldn't have this number of flashy problem symbols going on in my city. And, uh, and I think we can, uh, we can get rid of quite a lot of them by sorting the traffic out in a, in a consistent fashion. See, I fixed this one not so long ago, and now it's all broken again. We've given them a straight over bypass. Do they know? Ah, oh, so this a left turn. All this, all this stuff turning left. Well, we have an under, we have an under opportunity. So I'm going to fix that. Right, I'm going to carry on working on this um, because what I want to do with this series moving forward is, uh, I mean, to be honest, if it wasn't for the uh, the lost island of Atlantis, um, the lost city of Atlantis. Uh, I would uh, I would continue this series into the future uh, for, for a considerable amount of time. As it is, I'm I, you know I am weighing up whether I should restart and uh, and just lay things out properly. Um, uh, equally, you know, a ton of bulldozing and uh, and you know life gets better. But uh, I haven't decided yet. If you have an opinion on the matter, chip in. Uh, it's uh, yeah, you're you're the ones watching, so your opinion counts double for mine. Um, well, I say double. Uh, I mean, you know, it counts a little bit. I, I will listen to it. I will listen to your views. Uh, oh, go on. Let me have a split road here. Go on. You know you want to. Go on. No. Okay. Right. Well, actually, it's not going to do what I wanted it to do anyway. Um, yeah, what? So, yes. Uh, yeah, if it wasn't for the fact that I butchered part of my, uh, my land allowance, uh, you know, I'd, uh, I'd continue this one continually. Continue continually? I know, it's not the best English you've ever heard, but there you are. Look at all these people trying to use this. Right, I need another good station. Um, ooh, where shall I put it? I could put it here. That would, that would just, just kind of work. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. Um, I was probably talking about something. Yeah, I'm going to carry on working on this. Uh, yeah, what I want to do with this series moving forward, there you go, I remembered, um, is uh, is a project in, a, in each episode. Um, this one was, uh, I, you know, I foolishly thought that in this episode I would I would resolve uh, the, uh, the ambulance crisis, or at least come close to resolving the ambulance crisis, as it turns out. I am no closer to resolving any crises, ambulance or otherwise, than I was earlier on. Ah, uh, say la vie. Um, but you know that's that's not gonna that's not gonna stop me trying. 
so tune in next time, and and I'll uh, I'll come up with some kind of you know singular project of some description of doing something that's actually worth a damn. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. I will be back sooner rather than later with more, probably the same. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Thank you.